Welcome back to more Harvest Moon. Friends of Mineral Town, I'm just kidding. One world, all right, so. Uh, today's a damn thunderstorm, wonderful. Yes, perfect. Oh my God, I timed that perfectly to end the last video. Like, geez, man. Okay, so let's see how this works. Um, Like, did you get a random, no, no, I think you just get one, but. Oh God, this means that it might still take a while because I don't know how long it's gonna take for the wool to regrow, you know? Here we go. Okay, so I got, yeah, so that's one, but I need four. So the big question is, how long is it going to take to regrow? Because I have no idea, if I'm being honest. Is it going to be, is it going to be one day? Is it going to be a week? Is it going to be a month? Yeah, right. There's no way. There's no freaking way. At least I hope not. Oh my gosh, can you, can you imagine that? <clears throat> um... That's not what I meant to do. Okay, we have to grab all this stuff. I think I'm actually... Oh, I'm already out of space. I have to go and get this stuff like... You know... Get fixed up by Doc. I, I gotta do it. Um, okay, put that shit away. I don't want that right now. Um, Should I just go now? I probably should. I mean, I don't need... Okay, I'm going to... I'm definitely gonna have him do the Platinum. But everything else, I feel fine to just dump it, you know, right here in my inventory, that's fine. Um, and then these I will also have them do. Okay. So it should be fine. Oh, and the milk too, my bad on that. There we go. Okay. Let's go. So, I'll start by just, god dang it, I'll start by grabbing all this here. I can't tell if, okay, that one's ready. I don't think any of these are... That's ready. God dang it, these wilted. Whatever, man. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and warp... Over here. So... Doc. This is a legit conversation here. How expensive is it gonna be if I do this? Like, I really have to know, you know? I know I know it takes money for you to refine this stuff, but I, sh it, I should be able to make a good amount of profit with this, right? Like, it, it makes sense. Okay, also, don't talk to him because he's going to take your pl the platinum. So, I don't want that. Um, okay, see, it's... It's 80 per. That costs 720. Okay. Um, platinum, that costs 300. And then, emerald, it costs 200. And then a gate. And, right, and then these. Garnet, okay, so I'm using up all my money. But in the end, it'll be a profit, right? It has to be a profit. Like, there's no way it could be that dumb, the developers. To be like, oh, if you convert it, you actually lose money when you then ship it. No, no, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, we're actually gonna go over here so we can give a gift to Malika. I actually thought like it could never rain here in the desert in this game. Um, even when it was storming until that it happened that one time when it was actually raining in the desert. Okay, um... We're gonna hold, you know, we'll hold this, this thing. Take this. Okay, you at two? Nope, still one and a half. Dang it. That's okay. All right, now we're gonna go back home. Yes, of course. And now we're gonna do some shipping. Let's see how much this actually sells for. What? Hmm. That's not really worth it. How much did it cost? I almost. I think it cost me seven twenty. To. That's hardly a profit. These are profitable, though. Oh, no, well, those are okay. Uh, these, rubies. Rubies are a thousand each. A gate is also freaking whatever. Well, that didn't turn out to be so good. I can, I can actually... Here, get rid of some, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. Get rid of that, too. That's 480. Yes. Ship some expensive stuff. That's right. Yellow markers are 300 apiece. Hmm, okay. Um, I'm gonna sleep. I know I'm making days pass fairly fast, but... 
Honestly, I'm good. I'm good with it. I made 6,000 money. So, it was a profit, but not... Not a crazy profit. <clears throat> you should go and see your mom once in a while, you know? Wait, what? Why now? I haven't I haven't advanced a story. What the hell? What what is like I'm really curious. What what caused me to then trigger does that have to do with like shipping? Oh my god, do you grow do you grow wool once a day? Oh my god, this is the best harvest moon game ever. No it's not, but <laughs> in this aspect. The fact that you can get wool once a day, that is so ridiculous because it's not real at all, but it's so hilarious to me and I love it. Like seriously, most Harvest Moon games, and I'll just tell you this right now because, you know, I'm very knowledgeable about Harvest Moon, obviously. Um, oh, for, for, some reason, for some reason I thought I didn't milk you, oh my god. Because I was getting distracted while speaking, but I've played numerous Harvest Moon games on my channel, and I've played even more, you know, in my personal life that I haven't actually had a chance to, um, you know, bring to the channel. Uh, there's definitely some that I want to play, like Harvest Moon uh, Grand Bazaar is one that I have never played on the channel, but I've been I've been considering it for the last year, to be honest. I've just never had the time, you know, but anyway, I played a lot, and pretty much one of the things that's consistent about almost every single Harvest Moon game is the fact that cows generally are better money makers than sheep, and there's a specific reason why. The reason is because Cows give you milk once a day. Sheep, typically, in most Harvest Moon games, they don't give you wool once a day. For some, it takes like a week. For some, like Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life, it takes a full season, but full seasons are only 10 days in that game, so it take, basically takes 10 days. Um, so it kind of varies, you know? Um, and... What the hell? Oh. And, uh... Because of this whole, you know, thing, um, usually... Natsume or Marvelous, you know, depending on who made well, what game, they don't balance it out equally to the point where, where sheep produce as much as milk in terms of money. For example, if a milk is worth 100, like this game, 100, and the sheep gives you wool only once a week, so once every seven days. Oh, also, I should have gone to my mom. Whoops. And if a sheep only gives you wool once a day, sorry, once a week, every seven days, then to equal that, a wool should be worth 700 because if you're getting a wool once a week for 700 that's the same thing as getting a $100 value uh, milk once a day you know it, it equals it equals out however in almost every single harvest moon game marvelous or an N or natsume they don't do that they don't equalize it to the point where having a sheep is worth it the only reason you would want a sheep is because you need the wool to make specific stuff like, you know, the New Harvest Moon games ended up doing stuff with like yarn and, you know, and stuff like that. Or sometimes a quest wants the wool. Or sometimes you just want to raise a freaking sheep, but you don't really care too much about making the most money, you know, which cows are better. So, that's always been an, an, uh, an inherent problem, that sheep are just always, you know, literally the freaking sheep of the group, you know, <laughs> no pun intended. But. You get the point, you know, like, I've always thought it was kind of weird, you know, that they never try to make that ratio better. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Uh, one thing I haven't tested out in this game, though, and I will test it out uh, when I go back home, is <clears throat> if, big if, yes, if wool is worth 100, yeah, two hearts now. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, now we're gonna warp over here. As you can see, I'm just making days pass pretty fast because um, I'm trying to get the four wool. I have three now. Uh, yeah, I have three. Okay, but I'm gonna go to my mom, you know, so I can get that thing, that damn thing. That's right. But yes, I think I spoke enough about sheep and cows, but that's why as soon as I saw this that it was once a day, I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Welcome home, Shannon. Did you find any new crops? Yes, I did. That's wonderful, and to think you went to such lanes to find them. As long as you're having fun, Shiny, I'm happy. Huh? Your bag. It's getting a little worn out, isn't it? I'll fix it up right for you, and while I'm at it, I'll make it a little bigger too. Thank you, Mom. You're so great. You're so amazing. I'm really happy you've been finding so many different crops 
kind of crops lately. Yeah. The number of items has increased. Oh, hell yeah. Now it's what, four rows? Let's see. Wait. Oh my god. We never have to worry about bag stuff ever again. I thought if we were going to get another row, you know, like up to here, we got two extra rows. More than I... What the heck? Okay. That's honestly amazing. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is go back home again. Okay. So I am going to see how much this is worth. Wow. Okay. Everything I just said, this game did the complete opposite, which uh, it's not bad. It's honestly interesting. In this game, if you want to maximize profits, screw getting a cow, get a Valai black nose sheep wool, or Valais, whatever. Because a sheep is giving you 300 bucks a day, a cow is only giving you 100. Now, there's probably better types of cows and stuff that I don't know about. It's actually very likely. Um, and maybe in the end they will balance out, but I don't know. Hmm. All right, so guess what people, today's the day. Today is the big day. It's time to do do do, do, do no, 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 I'm not gonna say, it. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, uh, we're gonna get our fourth one because you know, we need some, some black wool and uh, we're actually a little low on feed here, but it's all good, okay. Also, it's kind of funny too that in this game you can't just cheat um, with the animals of just going for their produce or their product. In a lot of Harvest Moon games, once you max out an animal at highest hearts, um, a lot of Harvest Moon games are designed that they don't actually, like, you can't lower your animal's hearts unless you, like, hit them with a tool, that's horrifying, I know, or you don't feed them. But as long as you just feed them, and then you take their wool or their milk or whatever, then you're fine. You're honestly fine. <laughs> so like, usually what I would do if I wanted to speed things up, once a cow is like, let's say 10 out of 10 hearts, you know, I maxed them. All I have to do every time I go to the barn every day is I just go in there, I, um, I give them food and I milk them and I leave. So I don't talk to them and I don't brush them because it's not needed at all. You're already at max hearts, you know? So you're already gonna be getting the maximum produce, which I know sounds horrifying. You know, you don't wanna do that in real life. Obviously you wanna give your animals love and attention every day, but in a video game you can get away with that kind of shit. In this game you can't because if you want to milk the cow, you have to talk and brush them first since it's the A button in that order. In other Harvest Moon games you just simply switch to your milker tool and then you press A with the milker tool, you know? So yeah, okay, so we have the four wool thing. Yep. Wow, looks like you got everything you need to make a sun cloak. Wait here just a moment. Sounds great. With this, you'll have no trouble working in cold places. The cold won't even be able to touch you in a, in a cloak as cozy as this. Still, it's best not to take the cold of Selmiaki too lightly. Make sure you look after yourself out here, okay? Yes. Sounds great. Looks like it's finished. This cloak is perfect. With this, you won't be at the mercy of the biting frost. Do be careful up there, Shiny. I know I don't have the right to say this to you, but... Please, do this for us. I have a request for you. Do not be reckless up on the mountain. Rest if you feel any fatigue. Sounds great. I will do that. Okay, so I basically have to run around. So I'm just gonna run all the way over there and... Yeah, you know. You know. Now, what's interesting... Oh my god, actually, okay. I was about to say, like, wait a minute. Do you, um... Still low? No, you don't. Wow. We don't, um... We don't lose our stamina fast anymore, which is amazing. Yes, that's so epically cool. Is that actually a thing saying epically cool? Well, now it is. I just coined that damn term. Epically cool. Siegfried. Siegfried sees or is that, you know, it's Siegfried? No, I think it's Siegfried. Okay, yeah, we'll get some of this stuff here and, you know, on our way over there. Sure. Crystal corn. What the hell is crystal corn? White berry. We've gotten those before. I remember those. What's this? White asparagus. Okay. 
Uh, we got another one over here. We got, oh my god, we got so many, actually. I should get them all. Baby carrot seeds. I love baby carrots. Oh my god. I hate regular carrots, but I love baby carrots. They're just so, you know, nice to just... Well, it's a little snack. You just eat them, you know? It's nice. Lettuce seeds. Oh, this present's shiny. I can sense a harvest part in this rock. The broken sundial no one could be nearby. The sundial is a ruin, is it not? The harvest sprite could be protecting it. That would explain why I didn't sense them in the other ruins. We cannot repair the sundial without it. Once it's fixed, the harvest sprite is sure to return. Now, let us look for the lost no one at once. That, seriously, that's it? <laughs> you made it seem like it was going to be so difficult. You found the sundial no one. Thank goodness. Come, it is time we leave this place. Watch your step on the way down. Deliver the... Okay. Do I have to run my ass all the way back there? Oh my god. I do. I totally do. Okay, well, you know... I, I guess it's fine. You know, we love running. And wasting precious minutes. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh look, another seed here. I'll take this. Spinach seeds. Cool. Okay, we're kind of almost there. Oh my god, I ran the wrong way. But I'll, I'll take this acorn now that I went the wrong way. So I was about to say, am I full of my bag? No, I'm not, because I have an upgraded bag now. My mom is so amazing. I love this. I love her. I love her. Okay. We're back. We have it. Shiny. You're safe, thank the stars. Although I will say that sundial was definitely not there before I got this coat. It's like I put this coat on it and it made it appear magically because I went all the way over there one time, remember? It wasn't there. Thank you, Shiny, truly. Now then, try attaching the Noman at once. Well, what's happening? What's wrong, Shiny? It won't attach. Hmm, perhaps it requires mending. Here, show me that piece. I see. I believe I can fix it with two platinum. Oh, you must be tired from your trek up the mountain. I will gather the necessary materials. Indeed, yes. I still have much work to be done, but... Why don't we leave this to Shiny, Sammy? They have a right to decide what they want to do. They're the one who found a gnomon, after all. Hmm, it seems I am in the minority here. Very well. Do as you will, and thank you, as always. Repair the pointer. Okay, so let's actually see what we gotta do here. Use your workbench at home to repair the broken sundial pointer and deliver it to Sammy. Two platinum should be enough to fix it. Okay, before that though, I'm gonna warp over here to give a gift to Malika because we can't forget that, of course, you know? We gotta do it. We gotta do what we gotta do. I'll take this. It's a free red rose. Alright, Malika. Anything to say to me? Nope. Okay. Um, I will... Give you this daisy. You like daisies, right? Okay, are you at more hearts now? Nope, still at two. Actually, no, you just went at two. What am I talking about? Jeez. Alright, let's go back home. And then we are going to use the workbench here. We have the two platinum, actually. Sundial pointer. So you need this one plus two platinum to make it. Create a one. Oh, hell yeah. It's done. That's why you needed the platinum, and I was told in the comments about that, too. Thank you all for that. Really appreciate that. And now we can go back. Oh, God, it's getting late, though. It's already 2.30. Shit. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Run faster, dude. Can you Can you run faster? No, we can't, obviously. Oh, God. I can't believe we're about to finish this chapter. Like, we seriously are about to finish this chapter. Wow. Just wow. I guess I'll get this on the way. Sure. 
Leak seeds. Oh yes, we love them leak seeds. And then here you are. Fixed to no one, have you? Well done. Now hurry and attach it to sundial. Let's see. Whoa. The hell is happening here? What is it, Shiny? I heard you screaming, so I... Ow, my eyes! The life in the sundial was so bright! Shiny, are you sure you're alright? You were talking to yourself. <laughs> the heck? Hmm? What am I doing here? Tempest! Vite? You're back on the mountain! That means the ruins have been restored! I guess so. To be honest, I don't know what's going on here. Hoorah! 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 Goodness, that lackluster attitude of yours certainly wasn't fixing the process. Shiny, let me introduce Tempest to Harvest Bright of Time. Tempest, this is Shiny. We're working together to revive the Harvest Goddess. Oh, is that right? Well, then you have my full support. Now then, Tempest, please give the Medallion of Time to Shiny. Sure, just a moment. Hmm? It's gone? It's what? It looks like I dropped it. Somewhere, maybe. Please, my dear, focus, focus. Oh, I like this background. Nice. The Aurora Borealis. Sammy, shiny, look, it's the Aurora Borealis. This is so cute. We did it. We totally saved this town. What? Oh my god, this crap is happening again. This lag. People were kick kicking up a fuss in the village, so I came from the shop. Did you fix the sundial? Yes, the repairs are complete. Not only that, but the Aurora Borealis appeared in the sky. Perhaps time has started moving once again. Time, huh? Sammy, I'm sorry for everything. Pardon? I considered leaving Salmiaki, even if I did have my kid in mind. I know how hard you and Cur Kiersey have been working to support the village, but I... No need to apologize. For your part, I know you didn't come to that conclusion lightly. It just shows how much you treasure your family. Who am I to criticize you for that? Sammy. Let's continue to protect our precious village together. What do you say? Like you'd have to ask. Now then, besides the Aurora Borealis, did anything else change? We haven't checked the Car Smaki crop research area yet. Hopefully the seeds are sprouting. Oh, oh me, oh my, I just, I can't believe it. Father, what's wrong? You're panic stricken. Come to the research area at once. Don't dawdle, come now. Whoa. Six crops. Yes, because that's going to feed the whole village. Six crops. The crops are growing and at a speed unseen these past few years. It's true, just look at them. Could repairing the sundial have caused this? Has time truly returned? Father, we should plant more seeds tomorrow just to make doubtly sure. Right you are. We must begin preparations at once. I'll help out. Uh, I mean, I'd like to help if I can. In that case, I'll look for more volunteers in the village. Things are about to get busy, I'd wager. Send me Aino, thank you. I'll leave it to you. Go on now. Grow up big and strong. That's gonna... S that, that serves one person. Six freaking vegetables? That serves one person for one meal. Like, you've gotta be kidding... Oh my god, the game was lagging again. What the hell is wrong with this game? It seems your assistance has saved us. I cannot thank you enough. Don't be so modest. The professor stopped by earlier to report good tidings regarding the crops. I believe our people are helping prepare the village farmland. The sundown no longer tells us the time, yet it continued to protect our time for so long. As head of the family that guarded for generations, I vowed to remain vigilant henceforth. That shall go for Sammy as well, when his time comes and for his heir in perpetuity. It is as he says, we will watch over Salmiaki with the same resolve living off of the land. Nice, nice. Hand is lagging again. Wow. I feel like this game is about to crash soon. It looks like things are going to work out, Shiny, and we owe it all to you. Say, I'm sorry, alright, for telling your butt out when you volunteered to help. I heard from Sammy that you ran around doing all sorts of things to help the village. I had no idea, but that's not the point. Please accept my apology. Get a little mad, won't you? Otherwise, I'm not unbending the fingers for nothing. At any rate, the village is safe. Thanks again. By the way, you're on a journey, aren't you? Off to the next place. Come back to sell me up anytime. We'll walk in with open arms. Bye bye, shiny. Okay, I need my medallion. I, I came for the medallion. 
Screw all of you. I'm just here for the medallion. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I'm just kidding. I'm totally just kidding. Miss <laughs> Curse Mikey said that people who can say sorry are real brave. That means my dad is brave. Awesome. Brave, huh? Hmm. Sounds like something she'd say. Come on, let's get back to the shop. Then we got some planting prep to do. Oh boy, let me help, let me help. You got it, buddy. Okay. Oh, Shiny, we just have to find that medallion. Where or where could it be? You, you don't think Tempest left it on the mountain, do you? Oh, God. Wait, Shiny. You're going already? I didn't get a chance to say goodbye, so I looked all over for you. I just wanted to express my gratitude. Thanks to you, time has returned to the village. This world is full of strange and wonderful things. Honestly, I'm still a bit confused. Still, no time to think about it. Restoring the village has turned everything upside down. So then, where are you off to? Medallion? What kind of medallion? Is it important? Ah, hold on. That shape. It reminds me of... What the hell? Is this what you're looking for? I thought so. It came out of the sundial this morning while we were cleaning it. I figured it might be needed for some reason, so I held on to it. To think you were the one who needed it. Thank goodness. Well, here you go. Thank you, thank you. I wanted to thank you somehow, so I'm pleased to be of help to you. Cool. That completes our medallion collection, I believe. Uh, what's happening? What? Oh. You got the medallion of time, yes. Oh, finally. Off to the next town already? Me and the professor are buddies now. I figured you'd be more gaga over the guy yourself. What? <laughs> Wait, you haven't figured it out. He's the guy who wrote that book of yours. Seriously? You gotta be kidding me. The name Karasmaki should have been a dead giveaway. <laughs> I was happy to see you kept that book in such high esteem. You got my gratitude. So, prof. How's life living off the royalties? <laughs> I knew it. Doc. This guest is all. Just let him have his moment, Shiny. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, so... What are we gonna... What lead are we gonna get now? Do we just have to go back to the Harvest Goddess Spring? Which, you know, previously there was nothing in there. Now we might have to do something there. Okay, I hear music, but there's nothing on the screen. What is going on? I'm so confused right now. The hell? Nice job, Shiny. You collected all six medallions. Now the Harvest Goddess Spring awaits. Oh, you want to talk to Doc first? He certainly has been of assistance in many ways. I know. I'll get everyone together at Doc's house. You go ahead first, Shiny. Okay. Back to Doc's house. Whoa, we're all here. Wow, it's been ages since we were together like this. Finally, we can revive the Harvest Goddess. Oh, it's been a long time coming. I'll show her how strong I got training at the volcano. I don't know when in the world I should begin. It's so good to see you all. Oh, we're not going yet? I got pretty sleepy. You better stay awake, Lignum. So, Shiny, want to give Doc the scoop? Sure. According to the Harvest Sprites, by collecting six medallions, you can revive the Harvest Goddess? You know, the old me would have laughed at you for talking about Harvest Sprites and the Harvest Goddess. But seeing you in action up to this point, my intuition tells me you're giving me the facts. And since intuition is based on experience, you won't catch me laughing at you. Most likely, I'll never lay eyes on them myself, but I've got trust in you. What that equates to is, if you believe in them, then so do I. So the Harvest Goddess Spring is the next local. Allow me to look out. Allow me to accompany you. It was no use visiting before. Nothing happened because you had to gather the medallions first. I have every confidence you can revive the Harvest Goddess. I'm sure of it. Let's set our sights on the Harvest Goddess Spring. Okay. So we just go over there and like that, that's it? What was happening now? Uh... the hell was that? Was that a the bluebird? Is there a bluebird? What a rare find. Th that's birds. Shiny, after that foul, the bluebird is the friend of the harvest goddess. 
Why did it appear now? Maybe we'll take you to the Harvest Goddess. But don't we already know where the Harvest Goddess is? We got a Bamoose on over to the Harvest Goddess. This calls for considerable speed. Run. Go to the Harvest Goddess Spring. Yeah, but like... That might actually, um... Wait, is there a warp? No? Shit! I mean, I'm gonna have to run over there and... I may want to actually consider that for next time. Yeah, because I'm definitely out of time. Um, one thing I will do, because I did everything else already for today that I wanted to do, so I'm actually just gonna... I know what I'm gonna do. I have a hunch on something. Oh, by the way, you can warp up to the last town now, Sal Salmiaki. I keep pressing the wrong button, God damn it. No, I don't want to... Yeah, we can go over there now. See? Salmiaki Village. However, what I was gonna do, or what I'm gonna do, is go to bed because I think by doing this, we might get another, um... Another... Powerberry thing, whatever they're called in this game, I always forget. It's such a long, weird name. Not really, but I'm just used to Powerberry, you know? Okay, let's see. Dude, I can't press the... Oh my god, I was pressing the A button there. Yes, look at that. Okay, so we got another one now. That's good. We now have nine hearts. So... This is actually a good time to end the episode. Uh, next time we're definitely going to go ahead and continue with this uh, by going to the Harvest Goddess Spring for sure. Should be should be interesting to say the least on how, how that's going to work, you know? Alright, so before I end this video I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I post multiple gaming videos on a daily basis so hopefully you enjoy my channel. Bye bye everyone, have a great and of course a fantastic day. Request, huh? Alright, bye-bye.